Hello, viewers. Quiz topic is cough. As you know that I have started a new series of videos where I explain the symptoms and uh, what are the possible causes of those symptoms, you know. And uh, today's symptom is that uh, I'm going to explain is cough. You know, cough is uh, uh, an action the body takes to get rid of the substances that uh, are irritating the uh, airways or the air passages. Uh, and the function of the air passages is that they uh, help you to breathe uh, in from the nose and from the mouth to the lungs. So this is the function of the airways. And uh, a cough uh, happens when the cells along with the air passages, they get irritated uh, or uh, trigger a chain of events, you know, so in that case when uh, you swallow, I mean, if they detect any foreign body, you know, so they will, there will be auto response. Now the irritant stimulates the nerves uh, that send the message to your brain and the brain in response uh, tells the muscles in the chest and the abdomen to push air out of your lungs to force that irritant out of the body. So the coughs can be divided into the infectious and the non-infectious coughs. And the prolonged, vigorous, and uh, 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 coughing is it's exhausting and uh, it causes you sleepy, sleeplessness, uh, maybe sometimes headaches and maybe urinary incontinence when you're coughing with too much force. And uh, maybe sometimes it's so forceful that can, uh, the rib fractures can happen in the extreme cases. Now, a cough is considered acute if it's less than three weeks, but if it lasts for more than three weeks, we will call it chronic cough. There are multiple reasons why we have cough. And uh, I, next I'm going to explain you the, the little explanation of the each and every reason. The most important reason for the cough is allergies. So these allergies occur when your immune system reacts to a foreign substance, for example, the pollen or maybe the smoke or maybe any uh, uh, bee venom, you know, so uh, this, uh, then at that point, our immune system reacts, you know, or even some foods as well uh, to cause the reaction uh, in the most people. Uh, mostly these things don't call, uh, uh, cause any reaction, but, but our, our body responds. The second, the most important cause for the cough is asthma, you know. So asthma is a condition uh, where the airways, uh, they become narrow, they swell, and they produce uh, uh, extra mucus. Uh, this can make uh, uh, the process of breathing more hard and it can trigger the coughing and maybe wheezing and maybe the shortness of breath. So these are the uh, complications of asthma. Now the other reason we call it bronchitis. Bronchitis is when uh, the airways become inflamed, especially the lining of the bronchial tubes, you know, so they become inflamed and uh, uh, their function is that they carry the air to and from the lungs. So when they become inflamed, uh, it can cause the, uh, it can produce a thick mucus and uh, uh, discolored mu mucus sometimes, you know. Uh, it may be uh, acute, it may be chronic. Uh, another important thing, GERD is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, this happens, you know, uh, at the end of our uh, food pipe, we call it, is phagus, you know, and where the stomach starts, there is a sphincter. Now, for some reason, the acids from the stomach, they come upwards, they travel upwards through that uh, sphincter, you know, that, through that wall. So our body responds automatically to, uh, uh, to send it out of the body through your mouth. So this is uh, when uh, we call it reflux, you know. So, uh, the function is that it, this backwash uh, can uh, irritate the lining of the esophagus, you know. So, this is the reason that cough 
can happen. Common colds, especially in the winter, they can also cause coughing. Influenza, which is a viral uh, infection of the upper respiratory tract, it can cause cough. Pneumonia, which is an infection of the lungs, it can cause the inflammation uh, and uh, it can uh, damage our lungs, you know. So as a result, uh, it can uh, cause fever, it can cause the chills, it can cause the difficulty in breathing and cough as well. So pneumonia is the uh, infection of the lungs. Whooping cough is another reason. Sinusitis, you know, we have the soft wounds in the face, in this area. If uh, there is any kind of infection uh, in the sinuses, we call it sinusitis. So it can cause uh, uh, the cough as well because it uh, uh, produces uh, too much pus like uh, stuff, you know, the mucus and uh, it can drip on the back side of our nose and uh, it can cause, it can irritate our respiratory system. Uh, so it can cause uh, a cough. Uh, bronchiolitis uh, is common illness in the respiratory tract and uh, it's caused by the infection that uh, affects the small, very small uh, airways. Uh, we call them bronchioles. So these airways, when they become inflamed, uh, they swell and fill with the mucus, uh, which can make breathing very difficult. Uh, choking, when any foreign body that uh, uh, lodges in the throat or the windpipe uh, can obstruct the uh, airflow, so it can. Uh, so our body will respond in the form of the cough to push it back, push it out, you know. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is another reason where our airways become inflamed, uh, they are obstructed um, because of the too much uh, mucus and uh, they can cause difficulty in breathing and coughing and all that stuff and mostly it, it's, uh, it happens, it's chronic disease, it happens in old age and especially the people who smoke, they are more vulnerable to this kind of uh, uh, pulmonary obstruction, uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, you know. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder. It can also cause coughing, and it, it affects the mostly it affects the lungs, but it can cause uh, it can affect the liver and the kidneys and the intestines too. And uh, the long term issues include uh, difficulty in breathing, coughing of mucus, and uh, result in the frequent lung infections. Uh, emphysema, where it's a progressive disease, and uh, uh, it causes the shortness of breath uh, and the reason is uh, the over inflation of the alveoli they, in, and uh, which are the uh, like uh, uh, air sacs in the lungs you know and in the people with the, this condition uh, the lung tissue involved uh, in exchange of gases like oxygen and uh, uh, carbon dioxide uh, is impaired or they may be destroyed. So as a result, our lung function is compromised. Heart failure means when the heart fails to pump the blood to all parts of our body, uh, and especially to, to the lungs, you know. So in that case, it can cause the uh, coughing. Laryngitis, inflammation of the white box, and the tuber, lung cancer uh, can cause uh, uh, cough and uh, especially if there is a blood is coming out uh, with the uh, sportum you know with the uh, mucus you know and the tuberculosis which is a, uh, a lung infection uh, is an infectious disease called by the mycobacterium and tuberculosis uh, it's contagious and uh, uh, it can cause uh, the shortness of breath and coughing too thank you very much for watching this video so these are the most uh, uh, important causes of the cough. Uh, if your cough lasts for long or if you notice that there is a blood with the, in the mucus when you uh, cough uh, or if uh, there is fever and the chills and uh, you are losing weight, uh, in that case you should consult your doctor for further evaluation because there may be any other serious underlying condition which is causing cough. Thank you very much for watching this video.
Goodbye.